right here's the deal my HD2 um, just pisses me up to no end and I don't care if I break it so I'm gonna try to flash it with uh, Android so I went over to the forums at XDA developers and by the time you go there all the information that I read might be outdated so I'm just gonna have to leave you to find it yourself because there's different versions of the phone and you need to make sure that your version works with the uh, ROMs and the software um, otherwise you run the risk of of breaking your phone so that's a warning don't do this unless you are willing to break your phone and I am so here I have the HD2 and I am just gonna try stuff so I am going to run the HSPL3 package just to see what happens to install this HSPL there must be any SPL version from this list on your device uh, maybe I better go get that first let me go get that this is the first time I'm doing this if I break my phone you'll see it first so I am going to now select something sure Let's do that one. I don't care anymore. Do you see we hacked it on the device? Yes, I do. So I will click yes. So I have loaded the SPL. Then I'll go on to updating the radio. All right, my phone's back up and running. Now I'm gonna update the radio with this Leo Radio 21250SFX uh, file. ROM update utility. Yes, I understand. Phone, yes. Next. Seems like I'm actually downgrading the radio, but if that's what I need to make the image work, that's all good. So as that's updating, it looks like that on my phone. Let's watch the phone, it looks more interesting. and it reboots alright my phone has once again rebooted and I verified that the um, data still works and that the phone um, operates properly and everything so um, I also disabled my lock code just in case somehow I get locked out now I'm going to run the Chucky Droid update and that's going to be a, a very minimalized Windows Mobile 6.5 I believe that. ROM update utility for the HTC HD2. Make sure you have already installed HSPL and radio. Uh, yes I have. Click next. Next. Verifying phone. And if I break the phone, uh, you guys will be the first to see me hit it with a sledgehammer. Uh oh, error update you till they cannot connect to your PDA phone. Let's make sure it's there. Nope, it's not there. Let me disconnect and reconnect the USB cable. Re reconnecting it seemed to make it reappear. So let's try this again going to load the Chucky Droid uh, minimum. Click next. Click next. Image version. Update. Yes I will. 
profile you want to update the ROM from this image version to check your ROM yes I do if I break my phone well let's hope I don't flash here we go that's right you folks are seeing it here for the first time will I break my phone and destroy it or will I be happily running Android even even a crippled Android might be better than the than what I was running let's watch the phone I'm not too afraid of breaking the phone because I got the Blackberry and I have the Nokia N900 which is a great phone by the way I'm kind of curious to see what this loads up to since it is supposed to be a very streamlined version of Windows Mobile look at that it says loading please wait oh look at that so what this loaded was a very baseline Windows uh, mobile I think version 6.5 no HTC sense or anything that would take up memory that loaded pretty quickly um, now I guess I will just make sure it still works then load the Android ROM So now I need to put something on it, and that is, um, let's see, I'm going to try the, it says Matsy Froyo RC1, uh, thanks Matsy. Let's take a look at the README, it says to copy everything onto the blank SD card. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy all the files onto the blank SD card. Alright, I read the instructions and it mentions an Android folder, but it doesn't say to put things in the Android folder, but I'm gonna do that. I put everything inside a folder called Android on a hunch because uh, that's what I had to do with another machine. And also that allows me to drop in another folder called Android apps and that will contain applications that will automatically be picked up on the install of Android um, now I'm going to close all this and I'm going to go straight to the Android machine or the um, the Windows machine the storage card into the Android folder and the instructions say first to run CLRCAD to get sound working so let's go ahead and do that that's the first application right there or let's hit the Harrit file which is what we use to load the ROM Look at that. It's a lot of little words. Well, this looks actually promising. I'll, I'll let you folks see that it's just working, making phone calls and things. And then after that, I'll just test out the phone uh, for the next 24 to 48 hours with uh, location services, email, uh, GPS, uh, maybe get a third-party video camera app and uh, I'll check back and upload another video.